In today's video, how do you know your metabolism is back to normal? Hey guys, what's going on? Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video topic, we are going to discuss how to know your metabolism is back to normal. Now, first of all, why would you be watching this video? Well, most people that fear their metabolism is not doing what it should be have been through some sort of diet phase, either to lose body weight, for a competition, for a sport, maybe to get into the military. And in doing so, you have adapted your metabolic rate. So let's talk about what metabolism is. It's a word that gets thrown around a lot. You see it on magazines, fix your metabolism, do these things to better your metabolism. Metabolism is very dynamic. It's basically all the chemical processes that are going on in our body, digestive, hormonal, when we ingest food, and what goes on through that process to get and extract calories out of the food so they can be used for energy, used for exercise or stored as body fat, all right? Metabolism is very dynamic. So when we're looking at changing it, there are really very few acute things that we can do, meaning short term, to impact our metabolism. Likewise, the changes that occur to our metabolic rate are going to be over a long period of time. Someone who enters a fat loss phase and makes a huge shift to their caloric intake and their exercise output and creates a large caloric deficit, meaning the amount of calories that you take in is far below the amount of calories that your body expends in a day, you are going to start to see some adaptations. Why do we get these adaptations? Well, if we think about it from a survival perspective, we live longer if our metabolism adapts. Otherwise, we would starve quicker if we did not have food. Yes, most of us are very fortunate and that food is quite abundant. However, that has not always been the case. And in times when food is low, our bodies are able to adapt to that and we can survive. That's a great thing. Our bodies are concerned with survival, not with looking good for an Instagram picture. So here's where we run into trouble. Going through a weight loss cycle causes adaptations to occur. And when those adaptations occur, we don't generally adjust our lifestyle coming out of the diet. We just go back to what we were doing. Then we end up body fat overshooting, putting on a bunch of body fat and trying to lose it again. Through various times doing this, we can end up with metabolic adaptations. Another term I've heard recently is metabolic compensation. Now, when I think of metabolic compensation, I think of all the things that are gonna compensate during this change. It's not just the rate at which we digest our food, but some other compounding variables start to happen, such as hormonal adjustments. That's the biggest difference I see when someone's metabolism is running well and not running well. So how do you know your metabolism is back? Well, here's a few keys. If you're tracking, you'll know because you can get your calories back up to where they were prior to starting a fat loss phase, prior to having any issues. A lot of people will compare their metabolisms to other people's. They'll say, oh, well, this person diets on 200 grams of carbohydrates. This person diets on 400 grams of carbohydrates. This person is able to do no cardio. This person only does 10 minutes of cardio a week. Why am I not? Well, because you're a freaking unique individual. You are not these people. Do not hold yourself to this standard. Your metabolism might be just fine, you're just not going to be able to eat as much as somebody who is a macronator, which is just a person that I describe as someone that can eat all the macros and not gain any weight. Are you holding yourself to someone else's standard? Is that the actual issue or is your metabolism an issue? One of the things I look for when metabolism has returned to normal is if you go over your calories or you go over for a day, you can quickly get back to your baseline weight. However, if your metabolism is not yet adapted in a positive manner, sped up, and you go off your plan, you might put on several pounds that seem to stick around for weeks. This is how we know our metabolism is not back to normal. Another indicator that metabolism is not back to normal is how are your hormones working? Are you constantly hungry? Are you, are you low energy? 
Are you food focused? Okay, these are things that have to play a role in our hormones. Okay, so we wanna make sure that we're in a position where we're not so food focused that when we go and do a gym session or a training session, we come and we're able to repeat that again without feeling exhausted for long periods of time, okay? Metabolic rate is the rate at just which we're burning through calories, okay? So if you are able to eat food, feel digested, feel good on an hour by hour basis, then these are some of the best indicators. And one of probably the best indicators for me, for my athletes, my clients that I work with, is that they stop thinking about it. They no longer focus on what's my metabolism doing, how many calories am I, they just start to be. They just start to be able to eat, go to the gym, live their life, and feel good all the time. Not worry about the fluctuations on the scale of a pound or two. So what do we do if we've been in a position where we have possibly adapted our metabolic rate? Well, the real education over the last few years for me as a coach and in this industry, I feel like, is the ability now to focus on a reverse diet. If you're paying attention to your calories and your cardio going into these diets, when you come out, you simply reverse the process. You walk the calories back up, walk the cardio down. You don't simply stop dieting and just all of a sudden switch all of your goals, okay? How are we able to maintain a leaner body weight? Because at the end of the day, most of us get into a fat loss phase so that we can keep some weight off and we can look good all the time. Again, I feel like this is going to depend on the individual. It's very individualized what a low body fat set point is like for some people. But I've found over time, most people can slightly adjust their body composition to being a little bit leaner through adding a little bit of muscle. Yes, muscle actually is one of the few things you can do to speed up your metabolism. More muscle, faster metabolic rate. So by adding some muscle, you're able to basically remain a little bit leaner. You also look a little bit leaner because you know muscle creates a change in the skin and how you look. So that's one of the best ways for us to know that we're positively impacting our overall look. But I think with, with my, in my opinion, the resounding answer to how do you know your metabolic rate is back to normal? Well, your hormones are in a good place. You feel good on a daily basis. Energy level is good. You can eat a nice amount of calories. Now, what's a nice amount of calories for you? I don't want to give you numbers, guys, but if your baseline is at 10 times your body weight, so if you weigh 100 pounds, you should be able to eat 1,000 calories, no problem, without gaining weight. You know, all the way up to 15 times body weight, sometimes 20 times body weight, just depends on the person. But it's what's right for you. Again, don't get caught up in the comparison game just because this person or that person, you know, we're not Michael Phelps eating 10,000 calories a day training for the Olympics. And if you're not that, then where do you fit in? Well, if you feel good on a daily basis, eating the calories you're eating, performing the exercise that you're performing, then you're probably in a good place metabolically, okay? It's only when we find there's issues that we should adjust. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me today. Short video on metabolism. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.